Imagine sitting in a dark cave, moist and claustrophobic, yet warm and fruitful. But something feels a little off. It's as though this cave does not want you here. Almost as if this cave is pushing you, thrusting you out. Now imagine a light. A light you have never seen before. It enchants you. It enthralls you as it comes closer and closer. All of a sudden you find yourself surrounded by the unfamiliar light. Cradled by unfamiliar hands. Forced to leave what was warm and familiar and put into the realm of the unknown. Everything bright, shiny, new, dangerous. Welcome to the world, baby boy. Hope you have a nice time. Answer Rapunzel Maternity Doctor, a game about the wonders of childbirth, made for children that don't know what vaginas are, and creepy old dudes that have only seen the pixelated anime ones. Okay, sure. Just from a glance, you could already tell that it's a shitty Flash game made for the sole purpose of eye-raping people with shitty ads. The yard is shitty. The gameplay is shitty. It runs like shit. It sounds like shit. And I'm pretty sure whoever made this doesn't even know how babies are born. It's just a giant pile of hot, steamy shit. And if I was any other reviewer, I would automatically give this stinky doo-doo a 0 out of 10, didn't challenge me mentally enough. But I'm not just any other reviewer, no. Because unlike the NeoGAFs, the IGNs, and the Cynical Brits, I refuse to believe that someone with any ounce of pride in their body would stoop so low to create such low-tier shit. So I will put my integrity as a reviewer on the line to defend this piece of shit and justify giving it a 10 out of 10. The first obvious shortcoming of this game is the art, but where others see shortcoming, I see genius. As soon as the title screen opens up, we are immediately greeted with this overwhelming sense of awkwardness, like something doesn't belong here. A closer look at Rapunzel's face and it seems we were right. This isn't a happy smile, no. This is the expression of a dead woman. Not actually dead, just void of any sign of life. And when the soul is gone, are you actually human? Or just an empty husk with a lifeless smile? That's the irony of this situation. A game about life, the birth of a child, met with such lifelessness. Rapunzel's dead face, her seemingly malnourished body, the coldness of the room. Looking out the window, we see that it's obviously winter, the season of death, a season of stagnation where nothing grows, nothing is born, winter is cold, no life. So now that you have gotten a glimpse at the kind of genius this game has to offer, let's dive a little deeper and see the kind of twisted story that is woven within the pixels on the screen. Similar to the Dark Souls franchise, Rapunzel Maturity Doctor tells its story through experience, rather than shoving story and exposition down the player's throat. There is no stopping the player's momentum for unnecessary cutscenes. In fact, the closest thing this game has to cutscenes are dialogue cues and screen transitions to help establish the situation at hand. Rapunzel Maternity Doctor's story starts right at the title screen. Just like I said earlier, there is an overwhelming sense of death and awkwardness, but there is one detail I've yet to point out. So much is wrong with this picture, but one issue is more glaring than the rest, Ariel Maternity Doctor. It's such an obvious mistake, or is it? This one detail can be so easily misconceived as a mistake made by a lazy game maker, but it isn't that. This one detail ties everything that we've seen together to give us the main theme of the story, displacement. Nothing belongs here, nothing is where it should be. Rapunzel doesn't belong here, that head doesn't belong on that body. The player shouldn't have even been playing this game in the first place, because this game is not worth your time. But somehow, somehow, it gets a hold of you. It grabs you, it pulls you in, entices every sense of morbid curiosity in your body. This game is an anglerfish, waving its bright shiny bait in the dark dark ocean, waiting for a curious soul to come close just so it could snatch it up. This game does not care about you, does not care about your thoughts. Hell, this game doesn't even care about its own reality. All this game cares about is challenging you. Challenging the way you think about your own reality. About childbirth, about how we think of doctors. Speaking of doctors, let's talk about this doctor, or doctor. This doctor is not the hero of the story that he's perceived to be. This doctor is the antagonist. This is not a good doctor by any means. He is by all means a terrible doctor. He touches Rapunzel, he pokes and prods Rapunzel with his creepy little fingers, all while she just sits there, motionless, helpless, 
This doctor is not just a terrible doctor in a moral sense. No, this doctor is terrible in a technical sense. This is where you have to use a little imagination, because remember, this is a game that was made for stupid children. All the horribleness is masked by pretty pictures, so bear with me here. Look at this meter. It's obviously saying that he's filling her with his love while she is obviously in so much pain. And this part where the doctor injects her with anesthesia to put her to sleep. This is just blatant malpractice. Giving birth is disgusting. There's so much pain to endure. The vagina rips while a 13-inch baby head is squeezed out and they poo a little. Mothers need every ounce of strength and energy for this process, so putting them into a drug-induced sleep is not only a horrible decision, but it also presents the risk of killing the mother and the baby. Instead of showing any respect to the actual birth process, this doctor just waves his magic little wand as if nothing horrible happened, as if the mother didn't just endure 8 hours of vagina tearing pain. This doctor ignores all of that, because he's a doctor and he works miracles. Good job doctor, you did it again. Meanwhile Rapunzel just sits there with her ripped vagina, poop on the bed and baby in hand with her cold, dead smile. What a nice little picture, right? Sadly this baby will grow up without a mother. Because how can something this lifeless serve as a conduit to bring another into this world? These are the questions that Rapunzel Maternity Doctor forces upon the player. It questions their morality. Every second you play this game, you are constantly questioning whether or not you want to keep playing. Because you know. You know the tragic fate of this baby. And that's where Rapunzel Maternity Doctor gets you. It doesn't matter if you want to stop playing because you can't. Curiosity gets the best of you and Rapunzel has to live through this hell all because you wanted to play doctor 10 out of fucking 10.